Coronavirus update now at six. A huge backlog of cases now cleared in Hidalgo County. And the county, at least county officials, telling us that tracking new infections will be a lot easier now. Channel 5's Christian Von Pricing joins us live with more. And Christian, the medical community will now have a better real-time look at COVID activity in the county. Oscar, ever since the start of Omicron, hospitals have been dealing with patients. And yeah, it, it's been harder to get a real sense of how many cases we've been getting per day because of this backlog. And it's also showing not the backlog is down. It's also showing that we're, our situation is improving. The number today, 26 new cases and four deaths. It's better than before. The problem that vendors across the county were doing their own testing and then submitting it to the state. The state had this delay in getting it back to the county. And then somebody who was uh, testing positive weeks ago, you would just be hearing about it now. Now that's changed. 12 whole weeks after the Omicron wave, with transmissions peaking around Christmas time, now a slowdown, if not temporary, relief for the public and health workers, and at least a chance to catch up on paperwork. We don't know what the future holds, so we've caught up with our numbers, but it doesn't mean we're not going to have other problems in the future. For example, if there's another variant. A backlog of 45,000 cases because testing and reporting is decentralized. Hidalgo County does its own testing. 186 vendors do their testing. People are testing at home, and those results should go to the state before they're reported back to the county. During the Omicron wave, that was a problem. The Omicron really didn't hit the valley until right around Christmas time. And all of a sudden, everyone came back from vacation. Everyone came uh, about to go on vacation. Everyone needed to get tested, so there's a huge demand on testing. Now reaching the two-year anniversary of the first COVID case in Hidalgo County, March 21st, 2020. This slowdown is now a good respite, but Olivares expects it'll be back again. COVID is becoming endemic. It is no longer pandemic. It is much endemic. In other words, it's here to stay. It's part of our uh, viral uh, inventory that we have now in the United States and in here in Texas. Expecting a new mutation, he says it won't go away. The challenges that started this time two years ago to repeat themselves. Two years, and now we're on day 743 since the start of the pandemic here in Hidalgo County. 195 total cases, 3,871 deaths. The county, again, reminding you, if you haven't been vaccinated, you can still get vaccinated now. Monday is the anniversary, two years since we had that first case here. Christian Pricing, Channel 5 News.